Riley, a social media sensation, launched his first single Let It Ring in 2021, a pop sensation that ingeniously incorporated the default iPhone ringtone. The track was a roaring success, earning Riley a significant fan base on the South Korean charts. Now, after a series of hit singles, he is set to take on Liverpool. Despite being born and raised in the secluded Faroe Islands, Riley has demonstrated his ability to connect with fans globally. He has accumulated nearly 11 million followers on TikTok, and he'll be rallying each of them to cast their votes for his song Breaking My Heart. With his favorite artists being the likes of Lizzo, Mimi Webb, and Beyoncé, one can anticipate a grand pop spectacle during the contest. Brunette has always been at the heart of the buzz, from creating viral sensations to achieving girl group fame. This Armenian singer-songwriter has been showcasing her vocal talent since she was a mere four years old, transcending the nursery rhymes that initially spotlighted her natural flair for performance. At the age of 15, she composed her first song and by 18, she launched her first single, Love the Way You Feel. This gifted young singer is currently riding high on the charts, with her singles Jisher, Smoke Break, and Back Kapitich Kurd amassing substantial streaming figures in 2022. Brunette, however, doesn't always take the stage solo. She's a part of the girl band and Agjikneri, renowned locally for their hit track Mink. Additionally, she performs with Project 12, a live band stationed in Yerevan known for delivering stunning cover songs complemented by polished dance routines. Their Instagram page is a testament to this. Born in Bucharest, Theodore is heading to Eurovision armed with his bold rock song DGT. Having triumphed in Romania's national selection contest Selection Nationale, a singer, composer, and actor, Theodore has an impressively extensive list of theater and voice acting credits, thanks to his early start in the performance industry. One of Theodore's early accomplishments was advancing to the semi-finals of Vosia Romaniae Jr. A few years later, he grabbed the judges' attention on X Factor Romania. In both instances, he showcased the unique rock vocals that have since become his professional signature. Theodore also boasts a collection of awards, including grand prizes from the Teleorman Pop Fest 2022 and the Mihailer Runcimu Festival 2022. Will he need to clear space for another trophy? Alika is a seasoned song contest competitor, having clinched victory in Estonian Idol and displaying her vocal talent in every competition she could participate in, including the Baltic voice. Significantly, she swept through the Estonian national finals, Eesti Law, accompanied by a self-playing piano, earning her a coveted spot in the Eurovision Song Contest. Her first three singles, On a Number, Bon Appetit, and C'est la Vie, all ascended to the top of the Estonian radio charts, consolidating her domestic popularity. She's now heading to the contest with her song Bridges, which she co-wrote with Wilder Hardy, the co-creator of Duncan Lawrence's Eurovision-winning track, Arcade. Apart from her singing prowess, Alika is also skilled in breakdancing, rapping, and boxing, though it's uncertain whether she'll get a chance to exhibit these talents on the Liverpool stage. Eurovision veteran and pop sensation Gustav has previously lent his voice as a backing vocalist for two past Belgian entries. Hooverphonic in 2021 and Senec in 2018. With a music career spanning over two decades, Gustav inked his first record deal at just 18. His debut single made a splash on the charts, and he was subsequently honored with Belgian Radio 2 Seconds Zomer hit award for the best debut of the year. After experiencing creative differences and feeling pressured to conceal his sexual orientation, Gustav stepped back from the spotlight of pop star. Nonetheless, he continued his musical pursuits, studying and performing music, even joining the Pointer Sisters on tour. This was followed by a highly praised partnership with the esteemed dance music initiative Hercules and Love Affair, where Gustav garnered praise for his remarkable vocals. Last year, Andrew Lambert competed in Australia Decides alongside his fellow Australian contenders Voyager, performing his song Electrify. This year, he's set to represent Cyprus, the homeland of his parents, in the Eurovision Song Contest. With a robust presence on social media and a steadily growing fan base, Andrew's videos have amassed a considerable viewership and followership, catching the attention of music industry veterans. At the tender age of 17, he was signed by Mary Hambly and at Sony Music Publishing, setting him on a course to create music in Australia and Los Angeles. Currently, he's signed with City Pop Records and Panic Records, with three hit singles to his credit. Although his first competition victory may have been a rendition of Doa Deer from the Sound of Music at age 5, his Eurovision entry, Break a Broken Heart, strikes a decidedly more seductive tone. Dilja made her striking debut on the Icelandic music scene in early 2023 with her song Vakten Song, Power. 
being a fresh face on such a grand platform can often be daunting. But this didn't deter the young and dynamic singer-songwriter. Dilja quickly gained popularity. Her message of self-improvement and reclaiming personal power resonating deeply with the people of Iceland. The song was penned and produced by a prominent figure in Icelandic pop, Pami Ragnar Asgjörsson who also had a hand in Maria Olaf's 2015 Eurovision entry, Unbroken, away from the limelight. Dilja is a physiotherapy student and a dedicated CrossFit athlete. As a self-confessed Eurovision nerd, it has always been Dilja's aspiration to represent her country at the contest. Victor Vernikos, despite his young age, is the youngest artist to represent Greece at the Eurovision Song Contest and is a dreamer with lofty ambitions. Hailing from a deeply musical family, Victor's mother, a Greek, is a pianist, and his father, a Dane, is a trumpeter. Victor himself takes great pride in his dual Greek and Scandinavian lineage. In addition to being a skilled pianist and guitarist, Victor's signature talent lies in his exceptional cinnamon rolls, a recipe he believes he has mastered, setting the delectable delights aside. Victor's musical style has been shaped by celebrated artists such as Ed Sheeran, John Mayer, and Coldplay. Blanka, an artist with both Polish and Bulgarian roots, has had an international journey on her path to fame. After composing her first song at the age of 14 in the Polish city of Szczecin, Blanka was certain about her desire to be a pop star. Consequently, she moved to the USA with her mother and established her base there for the next four years. The singer honed her performance skills by participating in open mic sessions across Los Angeles and New York, armed with her guitar and her voice at the ready. One of these venues was The Bitter End, the very club where Lady Gaga kickstarted her career. Interestingly, Blanca's favorite video game character is Blanca, Joker Out, comprising Bajan, Jur, Chris, Jane, and Nace, is one of Slovenia's most lauded bands, enjoying both popular chart success and critical recognition in recent times. The diverse personalities within the band, ranging from meticulously analytical to delightfully impulsive, have fostered the creation of a unique sonic signature they dub as Shagadelic Rock and Roll. Their enticing blend of energetic yet captivating soft boy rock has swept the Balkans with their debut studio album. Yuma Zane the Sly, setting new domestic streaming records and leading to a string of sold-out performances across their home. Now, they're set to bring their self-written track, Carp Dean, to the stage in Liverpool. As they put it, we're all enormous fans of Eurovision. Born and bred in Tbilisi, Georgia's capital, early, now 22, she calls being immersed in music from a young age. The standout early record for her was winning junior Eurovision in 2011 at the age of 11 with her band King. Long having abandoned the pink tune from her junior days, Bernie recently made a powerful impact in the Voice Georgia finals with a heartfelt rendition of Laureen's Euphoria, accompanied by an actual snowstorm. Her triumph came with the privilege to represent Georgia at the Eurovision Song Contest, an opportunity that Uru eagerly embraced. And who better to pen her Eurovision entry than Giga Kakinas, the creative force behind all three of Georgia's winning junior Eurovision songs, including Candy Music. Hailing from a quaint Tuscan village, Keith Jacks are bringing their small-town charm to the world's grandest stages. Despite their modest origins, this alternative rock band has had the opportunity to open to the Boomtown Max, Interpol, and Chevelle. They've also had their music played on international radio stations. Now, they're set to represent San Marino in the world's biggest music competition. To celebrate the release of their latest album, Synchronizer, the band embarked on a daring skydive from 4,300 meters in the stratosphere, followed by a live performance of the complete album tracklist once they touch down on the airstrip. Peak Jacks harbor the dream of collaborating with Sting in the future and express their willingness to work on his Tuscan vineyard in return. And when it comes to British idols, their hero is none other than Mr. Bean. Eurovision forms the central theme in Taya and Selna's musical journey. The duo's path crossed while participating in the Austrian talent competition, Starmania 21, where they discovered a shared passion for the Eurovision Song Contest. Their collective dream took shape at a songwriting camp, and they subsequently decided to team up exclusively for Eurovision. Both artists have previously come tantalizingly close to Eurovision glory. Selma secured second place in Austria's 2019 pre-selection, narrowly missing out to Pia NDA, while Taya had a similar near-miss in 2020, losing to Vincent Buono. However, they have the opportunity to lay these past disappointments to rest if they can secure Austria's first qualification from the Eurovision semi-finals since Cesar Sampson's performance in 2018. The gifted duo crafted the satirical song Who the Hell is Edgar, based on their experiences as female songwriters. 
They aim to highlight the often overlooked hard work and expertise of women in an industry that frequently fails to adequately recognize their contributions. The Albanian pop landscape has been invigorated by Albina Kalmendi and her potent vocal prowess. At the tender age of 16, she made it to the The Voice of Albania finals, capturing the attention of all four judges during her inaugural audition. Since then, her journey has been marked by a series of triumphs in various European music competitions. Music has always been a significant part of Kalmendi's life, with her upbringing in a household full of professional musicians. In a delightful twist, two generations of the Kalmendi family will unite their voices in a performance in Liverpool. Indeed, music runs deep in the family veins. Albina's parents, Albana and Bujar, found their love through a shared passion for music. Along with her siblings Albin, Vesa, and Sidorla, they will all grace the Eurovision stage. Unfortunately, the family's golden retrievers won't have the chance to join the musical ensemble. Monica Linkite may strike gold on her second attempt at Eurovision. Having previously competed in 2015 alongside Veda's Bomilla with the song This Time, this year, the singer secured another chance through Lithuania's national selection show, Pabandam is Najo, and is bringing her new song Stay, filled with soaring melodies, to the contest. The song is steeped in local folklore, with the lyrics Siudo Tudo often used in Lithuanian folk dances as mystical spells. Music has been woven into Monica's life since her early years, and the moment she first touched the piano keys, it became evident to her that music would be her lifelong passion. Voyager, a five-member band hailing from Perth, has been delivering performances since 1999 and has globally toured multiple times. This group is a massive admirer of Eurovision and has strived several times to participate since Australia's inclusion in the contest in 2015. Their closest shot was the previous year when they secured the second position at Australia Decides. Acknowledging their boundless enthusiasm, wide-ranging popularity, and talent for creating catchy synth metal hits, Australian broadcaster S. SBS chose Voyager to represent the country in Liverpool, bypassing a national contest. For guitarist Simone Dow, the United Kingdom holds a special place as her birthplace is Scotland. The rest of the band members also have a soft spot for British culture, particularly sitcoms. If they're not found in the green room, they might be engrossed in watching the young ones in the delegation bubble.